It's a brand new day, so come on and play in a world that's waiting for you. We're about to begin, so come on in. There's so much to do at school, and you can do anything if you try. With friends like Timothy by your side, there's a new adventure. In Timothy, the bus is here. Coming, Dad. Timothy. Don't forget your lunch, dear. Thanks, Mom. Bye, Dad. Have a great day, Timothy. Remember to use sunscreen. Okay. Hi, Henry. Hi, Timothy. All right, everyone. Who can tell me what we call Monday in summertime? Yes, Timothy? Swim day! That's right. Swim day is when we stop at Hilltop Park for a swim. And look who's here to help out. Miss Alberry! Good morning, boys and girls. I got you jump in the deep end. No splashing. But... You cannot help it on the water slide. Oh, great. Are you coming swimming, Claude? Um, not today. I have the sniffles. Poor Claude. Quick sticks, children. I'm right behind you. I'll race you. Best one there. Slow down. No running, Frank. Play safely. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let's try it backwards. Yeah! It's <laughs> cold! Hey, Yoko, watch this! Good jumping, Timothy! Timothy is the best swimmer! <gasps> Thanks, Doris! Well done, Nora! Good swimming! Way to go, Nora! Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Fritz? Okay, I caught a red wiggler. <gasps> Mrs. Jenkins? Don't worry, Grace. There are no wigglers in the kiddie pool. Aww. Hey, what are you doing, Charles? Watching clouds. It's fun. Hey, that cloud looks like a cowboy hat. Wow, apple pie. My favorite. <laughs> it's Henry. <laughs> What's that cloud? Cannonball! No! <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! 
quick sticks, children. Time to get out. Remember behind your ears. Who can tell me what comes after a swim? Ice cream! Ah, there's nothing like soft ice cream on a hot summer day. Mm, sorry you couldn't come swimming, Claude. It was fun. It's okay, Timothy. You can swim next time. We'll see. Coming swimming, Clyde? Not today. I have a sunburn. Are you coming swimming today, Clyde? Um, no, I got something in my ear. I don't think Claude likes swimming. Sure he does. It's the best thing about summertime. Maybe he doesn't know how. <laughs> don't be silly. Claude's good at everything. <laughs> Why don't you come swimming, Clot? I told you, Timothy, I have allergies. No, you said it was something in your ear. It's too cold. Don't you like swim day? <sighs> Promise not to tell? Promise. I'm not good at swimming. What? But you're good at everything. Not swimming. I'm not good at it. It's easy. Easy for you. You're a good swimmer. I can teach you to kick and paddle. Well, only if you don't tell anybody. Okay. I'm good at secrets. Okay, boys and girls, let's draw pictures about what we're going to do on our summer vacation. We're helping Big Frank pump gas at the garage. I'm going camping. We're going to sleep in a tent. Oh, wow. A tent? Oh, Outside. <gasps> does getting a library card count? It sure does. I'm getting a library card! Mama's planting a garden. I'm going to grow vegetables. What are you doing this summer, Mrs. Jenkins? I'm going hiking. Oh, wow. wow. What are you doing this summer, Timothy? I'm going to visit my best friend, Yoko, every day. Oh. <laughs> Timothy, what were you talking to Claude about at recess? Um, it's a secret. Oh, okay. <sighs> Do I have to? That's right. Okay. The first thing to learn is kicking. How about we take it outside next time? <laughs> okay. Thanks for the swimming lesson, Timothy. That's just the beginning. Same time tomorrow. Okay. I'm really proud of you helping Claude out like this, Timothy. Thanks, Dad.
I'm not going in there. All you have to do is put your head in the water. No! You've got to get your head wet if you want to swim, Claude. No way. Try blowing bubbles. Maybe Claude can practice kicking some more. I can do that. Hey, Timothy. Oh, look. There's Doris and her mom. Oh, no! <gasps> Hi, Timothy. Oh, um... Hi, Doris. <coughs> you did it! You put your head underwater! Way to go, Claude! These are all wonderful pictures. What fun we're all going to have this summer! Look, Timothy! Claude's swimming! He must be taking lessons! Yeah, he's pretty good. Although he doesn't like getting his head wet. Huh? Claude. The best. Here, Timothy, use my towel. Thanks, Claude. I get this. Ooh, that was close. <coughs> Hello, Timothy. Hi, Yoko. Its back is black and its head, too. It has an orangey-red neck and a tail with two points. Hmm. Let me see. Here it is, class. Just as Yoko described. A barn swallow. Yes, Lily? How do you know so much about birds, Mrs. Jenkins? Well, I guess it's because I like them so much. And when you like something, you want to know all about it. All of you know a lot about some things, special things, that the rest of us don't know anything about. Really? Yes, Frank. So I want each of you to think of something special that you know. Starting tomorrow, you're going to teach the rest of us about it. And now...
It's snack time. What are you going to teach? Um, I'm going to teach some ballet, of course. One of my new steps will be perfect. Well, I'm going to teach something that I'm sure no one else will know how to do. Hmm, like the saxophone? Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. Charles, do you know what you're going to teach? I'm going to teach everyone how to draw cartoon faces. What are you going to teach? I haven't decided yet. What about football? No, Frank and Frank know everything about it already. They taught me. Hello, Timothy. What are you going to teach, Yoko? Origami. What's that? You remember. The paper folding Mama does. I can do it too. What about you? What are you going to teach? Maybe I'll do paper folding too. Airplanes. I'm good at making paper airplanes. I make them at home. <sighs> All the time. <laughs> How do you teach electricity, Fritz? It's a secret. Oh. Recess, everyone. Are we playing ball tag again? I, I am. am. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy, what are you going to teach? Um, well... But if it's a secret, don't tell me. It's better when it's a surprise. Really? I think so. Don't you? Yeah, I guess. Let's go, okay? Is everything hey. okay, Timothy? Well, I still haven't thought of anything special that only I know. You'll think of something. I know you will. Thanks, Mrs. J. <laughs> First, I'm going to teach the through the legs hike like this. Uh. And then I am going to teach how to punt the ball. Great! Wow! Wow! All right, our day is over, children. But before you go, have you all thought of something special that you can teach the rest of the class? Yes, yes, yes Mrs. Mrs. Jenkins. Wonderful. Then for the next three days, each of you will teach the class. I would like Fritz, Nora, Timothy, and Grace to teach the first day. Then Lily, Frank, Frank, and Claude will teach the second day. Mrs. Jenkins? Yes, Timothy? Um... Do you think I could teach the last day instead of going the first day? Well, uh... What is it, Yoko? I will teach the first day, Mrs. Jenkins. That would be fine, Yoko. <sighs> and now it's time to go. Oh, Timothy! Fritz told me you thought of something to teach. And I know it's a secret, so you don't have to tell me what it is, because... Yoko, I can't tell you because I haven't thought of anything to teach yet. That's a secret. Oh... The bus is coming. Timothy? Mom, can Charles come over after school? Sure, I think that would be fun. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Bye. Bye. This is called static electricity.
It'll give you a little shock when you touch your partner's finger. <laughs> wow. Wow. wow! Wow! How did everyone else do? Look at mine, Yoko! Oh, Nora! Your puppy is wonderful! Thanks! This is called a pirouette. I'll do another one. Remember, on one foot. Whoa! Now, you try! <gasps> hey! That was pretty good, Frank. Wasn't it, Grace? Huh? Uh, it's a start. are stuck. We're going to have to walk the rest of the way. Is it safe? What about the avalanche? Ah! We need some kind of boulders or something. Hmm. I've got a good idea. Wow, Timothy. These are great marbles. Look at this one. And there are so many. What do you do with them all? I play games and shoot them and stuff. Charles, your mom's here. Okay. I guess I got to go now. We can play with the marbles another time, Charles. Okay? Okay, thanks, Timothy. See you tomorrow. Bye. Timothy, where are you? <laughs> Here I am, Mom. <laughs> so, what did the kids teach at school today? Hmm. Fritz taught electricity, Yoko taught origami, and Grace, she taught some ballet stuff. Really? Yeah. Mom, I still haven't thought of anything to teach. Can you think of anything? Well, I'm sure you'll think of something all on your own. You think so? I've only got one more day. Hey, Mom, catch. <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> Bye. <gasps> Where are you going, Timothy? The bus is coming. I'm bringing my marbles to school to show Charles. That's okay, isn't it, Mom? Yes, it's okay. Now hurry, dear. Thank you, Claude. That was great fun. Now, I know Lily has a magic trick that she's very excited about. Don't you, Lily? Uh-huh. The first trick I'll teach you is how to make this button disappear. It's just a button. the secret double-sided tape <laughs> thank you Lily recess everyone oh not even close still a bit too hard Charles don't bring your thumb back as far great shot Timothy what are you doing we're playing sticker it's a marble game Charles is using his shooter to try to hit the bigger marble, which is called the sticker. The first to hit the sticker wins all the marbles. So go again, Charles. Yay! Yay! You're a good shot, Charles. Thanks. Timothy showed me. Will you show me too? Yes. Show, show us too. too. Okay. Everybody pick up a marble. Yes, teacher. 
I am teaching, aren't I? Now put the marble in your hand like this. Hey, what are you doing? Timothy's teaching us how to play marbles. Oh, yeah? Teach me! Yeah, teach me too. But me first. Hey! Uh, uh, hey! Uh, Pizza for you! Pizza for you! Pizza! <laughs> <laughs>